Hi, and welcome to a Real Estate Minute, brought to you by the Coloradan, with a quick view of some opportunities you can read about in the Denver Post this weekend. I'm Mark Samuelson, and you'll find stories about a fast-selling condo downtown that's gaining steam from the makeover of Union Station, and about how Denver homeowners aren't putting enough homes on the market now to keep pace with demand. That story by Denver Post business writer Aldo Spaldi says that the Denver area had a frighteningly low number of homes and condos available for sale in October, pushing up prices and cutting into sales, according to a report from the Denver Metro Association of Realtors. The 6,312 homes and condos available for sale were a record low for October. From 1985 to 2016, an average of 16,306 homes has been available at that time of year. Listings typically drop and fall as part of a seasonal slowdown, but this season's decrease was much larger, 16.8%. Demand remains strong, but sellers are putting fewer new listings up for sale, says Steve Danilou of DMAR's Market Trends Committee. Meanwhile, the median price of a home sold, $415,000, is up 9.5% over the year. And though that might suggest a hotter market, agents report that many sellers are still willing to come down from their listing prices to close deals. You can read more about that at denverpost.com. One market that isn't losing any steam is in Denver's lower downtown where buyers have been headed full throttle into a 19-story condominium project rising beside Denver's historic Union Station. The Coloradan by East West Partners, the first for sale purchase building to emerge in downtown Denver in the past 10 years, will look directly down on Union Station's mushrooming nexus with Whole Foods arriving across the street and the most dynamic restaurant bar scene you can imagine. Within three blocks of the Coloradan, more than a dozen trend-setting restaurants have arrived over the past two years. Stoic and Genuine, Mercantile, Tabernetta, Citizen Rail, and on and on, not to count the venerable places like Chop House, Venice, and Wine Coop Brewing Company that have been part of the Lodo scene for years. At the Coloradan Sales Center, two blocks south of the station in the new Triangle Building, East West has already taken contracts on 189 units since August 22nd, well over half the build out, including four of seven penthouses. But with prices from $550,000, you can still find one, two, and three bedroom homes that'll glimpse the field seats at Coors or look west through Riverfront to Long's Peak or onto the station with its iconic travel by train sign, where Amtrak's California Zephyr pulls in twice daily. To visit the sales center, 1550 Wewata Street in Lodo, from Spear Boulevard opposite the Pepsi Center, turn north on Wewata and continue past 15th Street to the Triangle Building and look for the sales center in WeWork on the second floor. Or visit the Coloradan.com. I'm Mark Samuelson. You can see all of my stories at DenverPost.com.